Numbers chapter 33. These are the departures of the children of Israel, who went out of the land of Misraim by their divisions under the hand of Masha and Aharon. And Masha wrote down the starting points of their departures at the mouth of Yah. And these are their departures according to their starting points. So they departed from Ramesses in the first new moon on the 15th day of the first new moon on the morrow of the Pesah. The children of Israel went out with boldness before the eyes of all the Mizrites. And the Mizrites were burying all their firstborn whom Yah had stricken among them. Also on their mighty ones, Yah had executed judgments. Then the children of Israel departed from Ramesses and camped in Sukkoth. And they departed from Sukkoth and camped at Etham, which is on the edge of the wilderness. And they departed from Etham and returned back to Pi Hahiroth, which is east of Baal Safan. And they camped near Migdol. And they departed from before Hahiroth. And passed over through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Atham, and camped in Marah. And they departed from Marah, and came from Elim. And at Elim were twelve springs of water, and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. And they departed from Elim, and camped by the Sea of Reeds. And they departed from the Sea of Reeds, and camped in the wilderness of Sin. And they departed from the wilderness of Sin, and camped at Dovka. And they departed from Dovka, and camped at Alush. And they departed from Alush, and camped at Raphidim. And there was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Raphidim, and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. And they departed from the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hata'awa. And they departed from Kibroth Hata'awa and camped at Hasaroth. And they departed from Hasaroth and camped in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma and camped at Ramon Peretz. And they departed from Ramon Peretz and camped at Libna. And they departed from Libna and camped at Rissa. And they departed from Rissa and camped at Kahilahath. And they departed from Kahilahath and camped at Mount Shafer. And they departed from Mount Shafer and camped at Harada. And they departed from Harada and camped at Makeloth. And they departed from Makeloth and camped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and camped at Terah. And they departed from Terah and camped at Mithka. And they departed from Mithka and camped at Hashmonath. And they departed from Hashmonath and camped at Maseroth. And they departed from Maseroth and camped at B'nai Ya'akan. And they departed from B'nai Ya'akan and camped at Hor Hajagad. And they departed from Hor Hajagad and camped at Yatsbatha. And they departed from Yatsbatha and camped in Abrona. And they departed from Abrona and camped at Etzion Geber. And they departed from Etzion Geber and camped in the wilderness of Sin, which is Kadesh. And they departed from Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor on the boundary of the land of Edom. And Aharon the priest went up to Mount Hor at the mouth of Yah and died there in the 40th year after the children of Israel had come out of the land of Mitzrayim on the first day of the fifth new moon. Now Aharon was 123 years old when he died on Mount Hor. And the sovereign of Arad, the Canaanite, who dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. So they departed from Mount Hor and camped at Salmona. And they departed from Salmona and camped at Punan. 
And they departed from Punan and camped at Obath. And they departed from Obath and camped at Ea Ha'abarim at the border of Moab. And they departed from Eim and camped at the Bone Gad. And they departed from the Bone Gad and camped at Almon de Blathayema. And they departed from Almon de, ba- de Blathayema and camped in the mountains of Abirim before Nabo. And they departed from the mountains of Abirim and camped in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yeraho. And they camped by the Yarden from Beth Yeshimoth as far as Abel Shittim in the desert plains of Moab. And Yah spoke to Masha in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yeraho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you have passed over the Yarden into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and shall destroy all their engraved stones, and shall destroy all their molded images, and lay waste all their high places. And you shall possess the land and dwell in it, for I have given you the land to possess. And you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your clans. To the larger you give a larger inheritance, and to the smaller you give a smaller inheritance. Wherever the lot falls to anyone, that is his. You inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. And if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall trouble you in the land where you dwell. And it shall be that I do to you as I thought to do to them.